when we're in St. Margaret's Bay in Portland, we are doing a walkthrough. The team just finished, um, well, what I would call phase number one of this installation, which uh, the, the customer wanted to start with a very potent inverter for the entire property, it's a large property. Enough batches and, and panels to get started. You know, um, in this particular location, there is no option for JPS. So it's basically, the building is still under construction, as you can see. This is the beginning of what is going to be a very, an epic system. You know, this is a 30 kilowatt system. Let's take a look and you'll see the size of this place over here. Um, it's a huge main building and then four smaller buildings around it. Owner intelligently chose to go with 30 kilowatts, which means there will be no need for any more power, let's put it that way. Alright. This is our 30 kilowatt unit. Um, high voltage input. From essential solar. This, um, there, it is a, it, as you can see, it's very neat. We don't, we don't put no bugger things on the wall. We don't have no whole heap of wire wire all over the place and your wall or anything like that. It, just, it's a, it, it comes in, it, it has wheels, and we just roll it in and we just put it in our car. Anywhere you want basically to put this. Have a look at this. The AC is running in here, nice and cool. Look at it, it says here, load. Load is at 0%. It doesn't even recognize how much is coming out. Obviously it's not that zero, but it's, it's pretty close to zero, so it just put zero. Um, the load here, if I get my meter, I'll be able to tell you the exact amount. It's probably one or two percent. So this is a 30 kilowatt unit. <laughs> this is the big one. Um, these are our gel batteries. Well, if you were here, you'd, you'd, you'd see that there's no smell or anything. Um, these are these don't require any maintenance at all. So it's maintenance free. There's nothing to do. There's no there's no pouring in of water or anything like that. This is hands down the best value for money you will get when it comes to a battery bank nowadays. We're in 2021. This is your best solution when it comes to building a battery bank in your home. Um, so our plan is we discussed was far as we go, she's going to have a wall of batteries. So it's going to go all the way up to the roof. She's planning to have 60 batteries. Those 60 batteries will run ooh, probably eight, nine, eight or nine air conditioning units, 12,000 BTU inverter units, all night. Um, we, we recommend it for the owner because we're right beside the sea. But then to put the AC unit in here. We usually would just put a vent fan, but I, uh, I told him to just put a door on it, on this room, put an air conditioning unit in there and keep it at 25 degrees Celsius, which is the optimum temperature for, for the, the system, for the batteries and everything. We have 20 batteries, which is the minimum uh, required for, for the big boy, 30 kilowatt inverter. Customer started with 18 panels, and um, you can see there's lots of space for more. And there's a um, building, so we, we plan to do about 100 and maybe between 90 to 120 panels at this location. 18 panels um, gives you a maximum output of 6,000 
about around 6,000 watts. So you don't really want to run anything more than about 6,000 watts. So basically it can, it can support probably about three AC units comfortably, which is all she really needs right now. She'll be adding as she grows. That's it for now. I hope you join me on the next walkthrough. See you soon.